Hey, it's National Beer Day. Bet you didn't know that. I didn't know until this morning. <laughs> For the last three years, the American Home Brewers Association has ranked Bell's Two-Hearted Ale the number one beer in America. <laughs> what better way to celebrate today than by drinking uh, one of these guys right here. That's right, folks. Today, we are going to drink this whole mini keg of Bell's Two-Hearted Ale. That's 1.32 gallons of beer we are going to consume on this show. I'm excited. Guys, if you thought I was serious, shame on you, 1.32 gallons. That would be alcohol poisoning, and that would ruin probably the rest of this quarantine for me. So while some of you might be a little disappointed that we're actually not drinking a whole mini keg of beer today, we are going to do the next best thing. And what is that? That is going to be actually Bell's Double Two-Hearted Ale. This is from Bell's Brewery from Comstock, Michigan, 11 ABV. 80 IBUs, everything you love about our classic two-hearted ale, now in a double IPA. With two and a half times the amount of centennial hops, double two-hearted has intense pine and citrus notes, a resinous hop aroma, and a rich malt character. So guys, I have been sitting on this beer for a little bit of time. It does say shelf life three months. This came out back in August of 2019. Uh, was a limited release. I don't believe they have any current plans to release it again. I'm very excited for this. This is a really big deal for me to get into this. What better way to celebrate National Beer Day than with America's best beer times two. It is recommended by Bells that you do enjoy this in a snifter. So I got my trusty snifter here. Is that gonna spill? Is that gonna spill? Woo! Look at that. Wow. Uh, it does have more citrus smell to it than uh, classic Two Hearted, so it does have a little bit more of a sweeter smell. Almost pineapple. Like a lot of pineapple in this. Citrus, uh, not too much of lemon, more of like orange, pineapple, mango. Not too much pine like I'm used to with regular Two Hearted. I expect this to be sweeter from what I'm smelling. Wow. Right off the bat, obviously this is a double Two Hearted. This is in fact a double American IPA with it being 11% boozy right off the bat. Very good flavor, I don't wanna disregard that, but uh, it, it is a, a boozy essence to it. A bit more than what I was expecting. The pine is coming out a little bit stronger in the taste, whereas in the smell I didn't get too much pine with it. On the front end, very sweet. A lot of fruity notes going on on the front end, which is surprising to me because again, I don't mean to keep comparing it to regular Two Hearted, but regular Two Hearted is just hop, hop, hop. Uh, piney, earthy, citrusy aspects. This almost is, is sweet. A lot of flavors going on. Uh, very rich, obviously, with it being 11% ABV. Uh, very flavorful. <clears throat> Good carbonation. Uh, not not too heavy with the carbonation there. Lighter bubbles. Uh, doesn't doesn't sting the back of the throat. Uh, from the carbonation point, uh, but not soft like, let's say again, like a nitro. I don't mean to keep circling back to it, but there is a just a, a heavy, boozy presence to this here, more than I really was expecting, because with regular Two Hearted, yes, it is higher on its alcohol side, but I don't drink it with that notion in mind. Whereas with this, if somebody was to come up to me and smell my breath just with a little bit of drink so far, I feel like they would think I've, I've drank quite a few beers already. This this has a high alcohol content to it that I can just clearly tell. So characteristics, I'm just gonna list them off. Boozy, citrusy, hoppy on the back end, um, and sweet. The, the entire overall feel of this has this very good sweet, uh, aroma, flavor to it. It's, uh, it's surprising to me because I don't expect that in a two-hearted ale. Overall, would I recommend this? Yes, but with a, with a big asterisk to it. Like, you have to go into this expecting a, a, a very high alcohol beer. 
I've had a lot of beers in the past that are really surprising to me for their alcohol content, but this this has no shame in it. This wants you to know it's a higher alcohol content and it wants to get you drunk and that's fine. I respect that. That's why they did it. It's the first time that they did it, but it was a little surprising to me. Be prepared. <laughs> like, be prepared that you're going into something for a little bit of a ride. If by any means you're out there and you're able to get your hands on this, um, you know, enjoy it. I'm not gonna rush through drinking this. There's gonna be no chuggability aspect with this since I only have this and one other left. And not only that, but it's it's not a chuggable beer. I, I already know from the almost half that drink with this, you should not be chugging this. Enjoy it. I almost wanna just, you know, again, with it being a Sifner, I just wanna kinda like sip on it. Like, I feel like this could last me a good 45 minutes or so before I go to the next one. So hey, that's what I have for you today. Happy National Beer Day. As always, if you did like this, please like, please subscribe, please share with a friend. I say this every single week. But more importantly, especially if you're watching right now, please be safe out there. With everything that's going on, I want you guys to be safe. I want you guys to stay indoors. You don't need to hear a huge lecture from me in terms of staying inside. Please do what you need to do to keep you and your family safe. We'll see you next time. Cheers, my friends. Take care. What the, 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 what